Today we're going to be doing something a little different and we're going to be talking about a product that is about to release here on Kickstarter. This product is called the Flare Go. I have used Flare products since 2017. I have a lot of experience with them and a lot of use with them and I have a lot of opinions on them. The only work that I've ever done with Flare is they have given me a discount on two products which would be a battery pack for the Flare 58 and the Flare 58 itself. Outside of that, I have paid full price for every product and they don't get a say on anything that I do. And if that ever does happen in my video, I'll let you know. I'm not going to do anything paid for without communicating that to you guys in advance. So I want to talk about whether or not I think this new product from Flare is worth it. This product is coming to Kickstarter on April 26th, 7th, uh, so coming, sorry, August 27th, so coming up really, really soon here. But before we do that, I want to talk about Flare's current lineup and what I think of all of their products. I'm going to do this very quickly. This is not going to be a long video by any means. So I have used every single product from Flare, excluding the Flare Power Tower and the newest Neo Plex by Flare. Other than that, I have owned every product in every version of product. Uh, they also did send me the Flare Royal Grinder on loan, but everything else I paid full price for. So I want to start off at the cheapest one, the Flare Neoflex. This, it's this machine right here. This is a polycarbonate machine. It comes with no case. It's $99, has a thinner walled brew chamber with a pressurized portafilter basket and a non-pressurized two-in-one basket, which this allows you to have pre-ground coffee or be able to grind coffee with a grinder for the best results and you can interchange that as well it also has that pressure gauge this is an incredible value for 99 dollars. this is car uh, polycarbonate i think so it's plasticky feeling but it did hold up well for the time that i used it i did not use it daily i did not use it extensively but i did try to break it and i didn't break it so i'm sure if you tried really hard you could do it but i wouldn't worry too much about it the next one is the Flare Classic, or known as the Flare Signature, was another version of it. This one is a fully metal base, so it's constructed a lot better than the Flare Neo Flex. It comes with a travel case, and for the right price, you can get a pressure gauge with it. It ranges from 140 to 230 depending on the aspect that you choose. Also, the basket on this thing can hold a maximum of about 16 grounds of coffee. Jumping up from there is my personal favorite product from Flare, and that is the Flare Pro 2. The Flare Pro 2 comes in at $325. This machine comes with a pressurized basket, or sorry, this machine comes with a pressure gauge, non-pressurized basket, and this machine holds, I think, you can get up to 24 grams of coffee in there. It also comes with a travel case, a pad on the handle, and a stainless steel drip tray. I forgot to mention that the brew head is different on the Flare Classic than the ne Flare Neo Flex. The Flare Classic has a thicker brew head, so that means you do have to preheat all the other flares outside of the Flare Neo Flex. But I would still recommend preheating the Flare Neo Flex. The next one is the Flare 58. This is a 58 millimeter portafilter, which is commercial grade. It has a heating mechanism on the inside, a pressure gauge, a longer handle, wooden accents, and the Flare 58 is just more premium wood, some blacked out accents, and a shot mirror with it too. These come in at like 500 plus dollars. I can't remember off the top of my head. Then we go on to the grinder. We have the Royal Grinder at 170. This is a really great grinder. You throw in the Power Tower, that's another $170. The Power Tower, I've never used it. I've never seen it in person, but it looks really cheap, very plasticky, and I really can't justify spending $170 to purchase one of those things. Even if you already had a Flare Royal Grinder, I would just spend $170 and buy a Turin SD40 or something like that. That's going to be about the same price. And then you have a dedicated uh, electric grinder and you can use your Flare Royal to travel with. Uh, so overall, Flare has had made incredible products. And I think they will continue to do great things. Almost everything I've been happy with outside of that. Uh, the power tower just seems a little weird of a machine. But I think the Flare Neo Flex was a great machine. Uh, the Flare Neo, the original one, was, I thought, a phenomenal price point at the time, and they just keep improving it since then. So this is where the Flare, ne Flare, uh, Flare Go Espresso Machine comes in. 
Uh, this comes on a Kickstarter again on the 27th, so on Tuesday, depending on when you are watching this video or it's already out. This is the most compactable flare that there is. It folds down. It kind of looks like a spider here. It looks like it has this same brew head that is on the flare Neoflex. It has a pressure gauge. It looks like a better pressure gauge. It looks like the pressure gauge that is on the Flare Pro 2 versus the one that is on the Neo Flex. So hopefully that is the case because on the Pro 2 it does include, yes, it does include, let's see if I can zoom in on that, the actual numbers of the range rather than it just saying espresso on it. This has two porta filter options. It has a brew with a bottomless two in one. Uh, that you see on this initial picture here. This is standard on the, the classic in the Neoflex. And instead of having that flow control one or the pressurized one, they included a pod-abled machine. So you can throw a pod in there in this little 3D printed plastic looking thing and you don't need a grinder or anything else. You just need hot water and your little travel case with your flare. This folds out fairly well. I'm curious to see how stable it is. I'm curious to see if you actually have to hold your hand at that back of it to make sure it doesn't slide around. Um, it doesn't look like it based off of that, that first picture. I'm really, really curious to see how it feels. I can't imagine that this is not going to feel cheaply made. Uh, the polycarbonate does really cheapen the feel of the flare when it comes to the flare Neo Flex in comparison to any of the other mo models. I'm not upset at that because it does lower the cost of entry for the same quality of espresso. So there's nothing wrong with that. This does fold up super, super small in this super tiny case. This case is like bigger than my iPhone. I don't know. I haven't seen it. We'll see. I'm going to back this. I forgot to mention that part. One of the things I'm really curious about is how good this compares. So like I said, this is a pretty compactable design. Uh, but what is also pretty compactable is the Lokeiko Pico Presso. This has been kind of like almost the flare killer when it comes to espresso machines. It's just so compactable. This is literally like barely the size of the palm of your hand. This has like a 51 millimeter basket so you can hold 18 grams of coffee versus a maximum of 16. You can change out the baskets on it. You can add a pressure gauge. You can add a stand at home. I personally just don't like it because you kind of have to hold it and press it the button in there I really prefer the action of a lever a lot more but this is definitely going to be a pretty big contender of it I am planning on still reviewing this as well I've just gotten behind on some of my other stuff I switched jobs a lot has changed I had a baby this year and I have made less time in my life for YouTube and more time for other things and I'm okay with that but nevertheless there's still a video coming on this with Keiko Presso and I'm going to put it up next to this flare go so I'm really curious with the Pico Presso coming in at $130, it being a very, very good machine, I'm curious to see how cheap this Flare Go Go is ends up being. With the Flare Neo Flex being at $99, I suspect this to come in hopefully at $89 with some of the Kickstarter prices being in the $69 to $79 range, saving $10. One of the reasons why I think Flare might have went to Kickstarter, and this is speculation, of course, is... Even though Flare is an established company, when you make a new product, it can be difficult to manufacture that, pay for the cost. I don't know this from experience because I've never made a product, but I'm just making an assumption. This is one of first Flare's first products that collapses and folds down. The other ones you can take apart and put on top of each other in it, and they like set together. But this one unfolds, which means there's got to be a lot of stress testing on all these hinges hinges to make sure that it's stable enough to create that pressure and strong enough to create that pressure. So I'm guessing between the cost of the molds and the changes of everything, it that's why they have to make a Kickstarter for it. That being said, I'm not concerned about this being super delayed and I'm not concerned about there being issues with this Kickstarter too much because Flare is a known company. They've done Kickstarter before and I think they know what they're doing for the most part. The thing I don't like about this is why it does not include that pressurized basket. Personally, when I travel, I like to make sure I have good coffee, and not all places have good coffee, so I, I bring my own setup. 
I'm, I'm not going to lie. Maybe I'm a little bougie like that. But I bring my own setup so I can brew good quality espresso wherever I go, regardless of what coffee shops are around. Obviously, if you're in a city like Denver or Los Angeles or San Francisco, there's going to be good coffee around. You can probably go to a place and have a really, really good cup of coffee. When you're out in the middle of nowhere, not, not so much. And sometimes I like to have a good cup of coffee, and there's nothing wrong with that. That being said, I think they should have included the flow control basket instead of this new pod basket. I don't know how many people use pods while they travel with an espresso machine. Like, I don't know how many people are going to do this. Like, personally, like, if I wanted not good quality coffee that comes in pods, I'm just, I will go to one of the coffee shops that are local. I will not have espresso. I will, there's a lot of other things I would do before I would use a pod. Sure, is it convenient? Yes, but is unfolding a machine, filing, finding boiling water, pressing, uh, a lever down through water through this pod convenient no pods are meant to be convenient and i don't think that really aligns with flare super well in my opinion flare's not known for convenience they're known for quality on a budget meaning you can get good quality espresso for a low budget if i was looking for a pod machine i would be looking something like this uh out in nano portable espresso machine which i am reviewing by the way they did send me this but the reason why i would do this one is because this one heats up the water too as well this one also does not like does more than just pods we'll get into that on a later video when i get down to reviewing that again full season really busy but we still got some good stuff coming so yeah i'm really hoping for a retail price of 89 dollars slashing 10 dollars down from that flare neoplex and i hope I guess the pod thing's not the end of the world. You can go out and probably spend like 20 bucks for that flow control basket. And then you can use pre-ground coffee if you want on there. Look at that. Nope, I can't find it. I don't know what I'm talking about here. There we go, $24 and you can get your own flow control basket on it that you can use with this i'm sure there'll probably be an add-on for that but nevertheless i'm confident it'll make good quality espresso i'm curious on the price and how well it's going to hold up if it's a hundred dollars and it holds up really at all it's a no-brainer go for it it's a phenomenal deal it'll make good quality espresso would love to hear your thoughts on this are you going to back it and what do you want to see in a video about this thing i'm going to put it to the test let me know any questions you have in the comments below. And I'm going to do that. Make sure you like and subscribe. If you're looking to purchase anything, uh, please use the link to Flare that I'm going to put in this. I'll make a small commission and no extra charge to you. But uh, the, the plus side to that is if you buy something, that goes into funding this channel so I can buy more random things to review for you guys and entertain you a little bit. That's what I'm here for, providing entertainment, providing your answers for all things coffee, all things coffee equipment, all things coffee grinders, all things espresso machines, all things whatever you want regarding coffee. Let me know. I'll do that for you in the comments below. I also have a Patreon account. It's not too late to donate some money to fund this channel. If I get enough Patreon people at a certain tier, I'll give away some stuff for free uh, to any Patreon sponsors, and that also goes to fund my channel. But I have a lot of stuff, and I need to get rid of it. So go over there, hop on Patreon, and I'll send you some stuff for free. It'll be great. It'll be fun. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.